Okay, lots of great news coming at you through the Data Cloud Summit across data analytics, data management, artificial intelligence, and business intelligence. Today I have on the show Bruno Aziza, the head of data analytics at Google, to take us through the announcements and how they can help you. Bruno, welcome to the show today. Thanks for having me, Stephanie. Bruno, you're fairly new to Google, but you are not new to data analytics. You come to us from companies like Microsoft, Oracle, Business Objects, and many other data analytics startups that you helped launch. So tell us about the context of today's Data Summit announcements. Well, as you know, at Google, we are obsessed about customer feedback, and we've been really laser focused on delivering innovation that helps them accelerate digital transformation and data powered innovation. And at the event, you're going to hear from great customers that are talking about how they got it done. So enterprise leaders like Equifax and Deutsche Bank and KeyBank and Rackspace and Zebra Technologies, as well as digital natives like PayPal, Wayfair, Workday, Electronic Arts, and many, many more. And these customers have all told us the same thing, that you know, to succeed, they really need a unified data and analytics platform that is open, intelligent, and trusted. And by, by open here, I mean open to multiple clouds, open to our thriving partner ecosystem and open to the world of open source so that customers can innovate on their own terms with maximum optionality and portability. So you'll hear, for instance, about BigQuery Omni for Azure. You'll hear about Looker hosted on Microsoft Azure and a new service around data analytics sharing called Analytics Hub. We also have talked to customers about the critical role of artificial intelligence in their ability to gain value out of data faster, gain insight faster. And so today you will hear about a product called Dataplex. This is our intelligent data fabric solution. And then finally, we believe in meeting customers where they are. So you'll also hear about a new service called DataStream. This is a serverless change data capture and replication service, it allows customers to deliver change data streams from their Oracle uh, and MySQL databases into Google Cloud services like think BigQuery and Cloud SQL, uh, Google Cloud Storage and Spanner. So you're right, lots going on, lots of new services and new innovation and new programs being introduced this week across the database, analytics, BI and AI. In fact, last time I counted, I think there were something like 13 or 15 new services and programs that we're introducing just this week. Wow. So, okay. Can you give us a little bit of a sneak peek and dive into those announcements? Yeah. So the first one I'm really excited about, and I think will bring tremendous value to customers, is a new service called Dataplex. So Dataplex is our intelligent data fabric service. Now we know that the customer's environments and the data environment has become really diverse and sophisticated and very distributed. In fact, customers have data everywhere. They have it in their data lakes, in their data warehouse, in their database, in their data marts. Sometimes they have it on premise as well as across multiple clouds. And each of the systems designed to manage the metadata, the data quality and security and compliance are unique. And managing that situation can be an operational nightmare because organizations find sometimes they have to move the data, have to replicate it. They have their homegrown system uh, to manage their, their various uh, silos. And the minute the data is obsolete, sometimes even the second the data is obsolete, now everything's got to change. And so we believe that organizations should have the freedom to choose the best place to store their data based on price and performance considerations to make it available to their people without compromising security and governance. That's why we built Dataplex. Now think about Dataplex as three big areas of value. One is it automatically uh, discovers data. It allows you to intelligently curate, secure and manage data without data movement. And it also allows you to apply governance and policy centrally. Now the technology under it is really enabling you to manage distributed data. And we're focused on three areas. One is intelligent. AI data-driven data management, centralized security and governance, and an integrated analytics experience that combines the best of GCP data and open source tools. At the event, Kumar Menon, he's the um, SVP of Data Fabric for Equifax. That's a great title, by the way. And he's taking us through how he's viewing the use of this service. This is a session I think you're really going to love because it really shows where this industry is going and where solutions like Dataplex, intelligent data fabric solutions will help your company manage this distributed, uh, highly sophisticated data you've got across your organization. Yeah, and that's great. That's for the intelligent data fabric. So what about DataStream? What does that new service do? 
So data stream is also another one I'm really excited about. Data stream is a new serverless, easy to use, uh, change data capture and replication service. So let me run a few use cases by you and see if this sounds familiar. Say that you have dashboards. They're set up for users to make business decisions and data flows into your analytics database to enable these dashboards. And it flows into some interval that maybe every day, maybe every hours. And one day a data schema changes and you find out that something breaks, data is missing. Sometimes you find out from someone in your organization that's complaining saying, hey, the data doesn't make sense. Does that sound familiar to you? Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> so now let's take another example. Say you want to modernize your monolithic architecture and you want to go all in into microservices based, event driven architecture and the model of the future. You want to containerize, you want to use Kubernetes, but without a constant low latency flow of your organizational data into the services, you're not going to be able to do it because it's hard to break down the silo in isolated databases. It's hard to replicate data from one database to the other, and it's hard to keep it in sync without a low latency and highly reliable service, especially when the databases are running different engines. And so the answer to that, all these scenarios I just talked about is CDC change data capture, and that's exactly what data stream does. Data stream allows you to deliver change data streams from your Oracle and MySQL databases into the Google Cloud service like BigQuery and Cloud SQL and Google Cloud Storage and Spanner. It also allows you to replicate with minimal latency, scaling up and down with the serverless architecture, and it integrates with your overall data ecosystem, including Dataflow. For instance, it integrates with Dataflow templates so you can pull change stream data and create an up-to-date replicated table in BigQuery for Analytics, for example. And then finally, allows you to replicate synchronized databases into Cloud SQL or Spanner for database migration and also hybrid cloud configuration. So a lot of capability here that's gonna allow you to keep all your systems in sync for better analytics. Nice, so it's real time all the time. That's right. All right, now we've talked about intelligent data fabric, real time uh, change data capture. Let's talk about some uh, analytics sharing, shall we? Yes, let's go ahead and do that. So we know that sharing analytics work at scale in real time and securely is challenging for organizations. You know, traditional data sharing offers in the market today often require batch pipe data pipeline that extract data from databases, they store it into a flat file, and then they get transmit it again to be ingested in another database. And you know, this often results in multiple copies of the same data, which brings unnecessary cost. And it can bypass data governance processes. So we know today 92% of executives, according to Boston Consulting Group, wish that their company could increase the use of external data. But there isn't a great market solution to solve that problem. This is really hard. And so that's why we're introducing Google Cloud Analytics Hub. Now, I should say that we have a ton of experience in this field and folks listening to us today, in fact, have contributed to building that experience. BigQuery, for instance, has had cross-organizational in place data sharing capabilities since inception in 2011. And if we look at recent metrics, uh, they show us that over a period of seven days, over 3000 different organizations were sharing more than 200 petabytes of data. And these numbers don't include data sharing between departments within the same organization. So we know a lot about data sharing and Analytics Hub is a lot more than just a data exchange platform. It's an analytics exchange platform. So it's a new service that you can use to publish, discover, and subscribe to share assets. And it allows publishers to create exchanges that combine public data sets with commercial data sets and your own data sets. Your publishers now are able to curate these exchanges internally. They can also do that externally. And they can view aggregated user metrics so they can see how popular their exchanges are. Now you're noticing, I'm not calling this a data exchange. Our vision here is much bigger than just data. We want people to be able to share insights that they build on top of BigQuery, leveraging the power of our platform. For instance, uh, BigQuery machine learning is our machine learning that, that is built in uh, inside BigQuery and it's used by a large proportion of customers. And so we believe with this new capability, more opportunities for more organization will be created to share more than just data. We're talking here, machine learning model, rich dynamic dashboards, et cetera. Wow, so that is, that's incredible. Now, now, Bruno, you started by talking about the value of Google's open approach. Analytics Hub is one example. What about our work across multiple clouds? 
That's right. There's a lot of announcements here that are related to what's at the core of what we believe, a world that is open, and we want to provide the technology that meet customers where they are. So this week, for instance, we're introducing two new game-changing innovations, Google Looker on Microsoft Azure and BigQuery Omni for Microsoft Azure. Now, Google Looker hosted on Microsoft Azure is really a continuation of our commitment to make sure that we can provide you with the best, most modern, most open enterprise business intelligence platform, regardless of your cloud choice. So Google Looker, of course, runs on Google Cloud today, uh, and it's been available on AWS, but you can now run it on Microsoft Azure. So if all your data is on Microsoft Azure, or if you're a, a Looker customer and you want to also run an instance on Microsoft Azure, this solution is a great way for you to take advantage of modern API-driven framework, and most importantly, I think the powerful platform that really Looker uniquely provides you with the ability to build data-rich and beautiful experiences for your customers. So that's for Google Looker. BigQuery Omni for Microsoft Azure now builds on the tremendous momentum of our first cross-cloud analytics solution we released last year, which is BigQuery Omni for AWS. Now, for the first time, now our customers are going to be able to perform cross-cloud analytics from a single pane of glass across Google, Amazon, and Microsoft Azure. So this innovation really is at the heart of what we believe multi-cloud strategy should be. It makes it easy for customers to analyze data wherever it's stored. And in our session at the summit, we have Electronic Arts that talks about how they're building a multi-cloud marketing attribution model and how they're able to break through information silos without having to move multiple copies of the data across the clouds. We really expect that this offer is going to be very, very popular with traditional enterprise on Microsoft Azure. Okay, wow. So Bruno, we covered a lot today here. And as you said, we just scratched the surface with a few announcements out of the 13 or 15 your team's making this week. So of course, how can people get started? Thanks, Stephanie. Yes, there is a lot coming at you. And there's really three ways uh, we can get started here. The first one is if you can attend the Data Summit live, well, simply go to the link down below here and register. It's free and you'll get the opportunity to interact directly with all presenters. This event is for you, so don't be shy. Ask your questions, interact with the community. We want to make sure we get to the heart of uh, your questions. Second, if you can't attend the event live, Register anyway, because you'll get access to the replays and the resources after the event, which you'll be able to view and of course share with your colleagues and your friends at work. And then finally, if there's anything I can do to help you, just ping me on LinkedIn. I'm gonna put my LinkedIn profile down here and let me know how we did and what more we can do to help you. Wow, Bruno, so you've been very busy, but this is all very exciting for the analytics world. Thanks so much. Thanks, Stephanie.